Hey, what's up everyone? In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. And it's this module. It's called DHT11. We are going to use this one to calculate the temperature and the humidity at the same time. And it's very easy to use. So in this tutorial, you will need the DHT module and it's called DHT11. Of course, you need the Arduino and the breadboard to make the connections. So I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the Arduino. Then we are going to measure the temperature and the humidity at the same time using this module. Then we're going to display it using the serial monitor. But later on, we are going to work with the LCD display so that you could create a portable temperature and the humidity sensor. But in this video, we will only use the serial monitor. As you can see, we have three pins, so it's very easy to hook up. We have the GND on the left side and the VCC on the right side. Then we are going to use the data pin, which is in the middle, to read the humidity and the temperature. We are going to connect this one to one of the digital pins. You don't need an analog pin. You only need to connect this one to the digital pin number two or any one of these then we'll be able to read the temperature and the humidity using a library but this library is not built in so don't worry we are going to use the Arduino IDE to install this library and it's called the DHT sensor library and to do that we need to open up the Arduino IDE so to install this library you have two options the first one is to download the library as a zip file, but you need to extract it and put it under a folder. And the second option is to install it from the Arduino IDE. We can go to Tools, then let's go to Manage Libraries, and we have this window that pops up, and we can use it to search for the library. So let's enter the name, just search for DHT Sensor Library, and it's this one. We can select it and let's install it using the install button. Then let's hit install all. And that's all what you need to install an external library like the DHT. Now we can include it using the hash sign, then include. Then let's enter the name of the library using these codes. And it's called DHT.h. You could also use the less and the greater signs. And to check if the library is working just fine, you could upload the code. And you notice that we didn't have errors. And before we start coding, we need to hook up our sensor to the Arduino. So I'm gonna plug it on the breadboard. But make sure to check for the pins. For me, I have the GND on the left side. And on the right side, we have the 5 volts. We are going to connect it to the 5 volts of the Arduino. So let's connect the GND to the GND of the Arduino. Then let's connect the VCC to the 5 volts of the Arduino. You could also use the 3.3 volts as well. So I'm going to hook it up to the 5 volts. And you notice that we have this red LED that is working. And finally, we need to connect the middle uh, leg of the uh, sensor to one of the digital pins, like the pin number two. And then let's go back to the Arduino IDE and let's create the DHT variable. So we have this new type and it's under this library. And let's call it DHT as well. And in these parentheses, we need to pass in two parameters. The first one is the pin that we are using, which is number two. And the second parameter is the name of the module. Basically, we have another one that is called DHT22. We need to pass in the type. For me, it's DHT, then 11. You could also create two variables, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. Then we need to go under the setup function and use dht.begin. 
Also, we are going to use the serial monitor. So let's begin the serial monitor using serial dot begin then 9600. And under the loop function, we can read the temperature and the humidity using predefined functions that are under the library that we have loaded. And before we start reading, we need to wait for two seconds because this sensor needs a little bit of time to get the temperature and the humidity. And to do that, let's add the delay function and let's pass in 2000. We can create a variable using int and I'm going to call it dt equals 2000 and let's pass it in then we can read the temperature using the name of the variable which is dht then dot and the name of the function which is read temperature but we need to store this value in another variable so let's go up here and create two variables the type is float and let's call the first one temp for the temperature and we need another one to read the humidity then we can assign the temperature to this temp variable and to read the humidity we have another method so let's use DHT, then we have read humidity. Now we can display these values to check if it's working. But first of all, I want to mention that the read temperature function returns the temperature in Celsius because we have two kinds of units. The first one is the Celsius and the second one is the Fahrenheit. If you want to get the temperature in Fahrenheit, you could pass in through and this is actually another type and it's called the boolean that could be true or false if you pass in through you can get the temperature in Fahrenheit but I'm gonna leave it as default which is in Celsius and the humidity is in percent let's go ahead and display these two values using serial dot print and let's try temperature and we're using the print function because we don't want to go to the next line. Then we can write the actual value using serial.print. And let's pass in the name of the variable. And finally, I want to add the unit using serial.print. And let's pass in C or Celsius. Then we can display the humidity value using serial dot print and let's write humidity then we need to print the actual value using serial dot print and the name of the variable and finally we can use serial dot print ln to print the value and go to the next line and let's add the percent sign and that's pretty much it. So it's very easy to use the temperature and the humidity sensor. We just need to create this DHT variable. Then we need to pass in the pin number, which is number 2. And the type of the DHT sensor. I'm using the DHT11. Then we can read the temperature and the humidity using these two methods. DHT.read temperature and DHT.read humidity. Now let's upload the code to check if it's working. And let's open our serial monitor using tools, serial monitor. And there you go, we have the temperature and the humidity. So it's about 32 C and 35% for the humidity. And let's try to make it a little bit hot. And you notice that the temperature goes uh, up a little bit. It's 33. So our sensor is working. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to like the video if you like it. And I will see you in the next one.